Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching me from. I will come here to the Betty's blog. And today I bring you good news. You know, this channel is all about good news. If you're new here, can you join the family? This gentleman in this picture is in this video is Jeremiah and is an Oka. Um he's been in short the story is very touching for me. And it is something amazing in this video. Not everybody is a giver, right? It's the God and God rewards givers. Today, God remembered him because this video went viral. And Nigeria showed up for him. He actually, with his hawking of pure water, he actually gave people, he was giving prisoners money, like 100, 100 Naira. And unknown to him, there was a man on Instagram that saw... There was a man by the side that has an Instagram handle that saw him and recorded him and put the post on Instagram. And his name is, you can check his post on Instagram. His post, his name is Yemi, Rock, Rock Yemi, Yemi Photographer. So watch the full clip of this video and I hope you, you comment below, say a prayer and you can also contribute for this gentleman god bless you as you watch don't forget to subscribe that day i gave money to prisoners that day was very tough for me like most of the time i spent along that vgc road i cried within myself because the sales was very poor that day in the city of lagos where most people are majorly concerned about their personal survival and welfare Let's watch the story of Jeremiah, the Oka, and the university dropout from the Faculty of Law, who recently won the arts of many Nigerians based on his selfless acts and generosity. When I quit school, people think, uh, even when I told my parents I'll be moving down to Lagos, they gave me an advice that they knew I'm so much frustrated now that I should be careful. I shouldn't indulge myself in any criminating act. I was surprised when I saw him. Then I engaged in conversation with him for a brief time. Then he told me he dropped out because of financial inconveniences. I came to Lagos on 12th of December, 2021. And that was my first time in Lagos. But that was not my first time. That was not the first time I engaged myself in hockey in the street. I've been in the business when I was in Patakot. The business, we just, most of the times, or most of the days, we just live from hand to mouth. But in the lucky days, we save like 1,000 naira, sometimes 1,500. Some days, 700 naira, it depends. Any day, there's uh, the intensity of the sun is high and there's a lot of traffic hold up. You can make like 1,500 naira or thereabouts. But some other days, when there's no hold up and there's no intensity of the sun, like yesterday there was rainfall, you just manage to feed yourself three square meals. Even there's a time I, I arranged 16 bottles of water. I trekked from there, from that VGC down to Togate, I was able to sell out eight, the remaining eight got hurt when i was trekking back to vgc i was crying within myself I, i've been like asking my god why all this pain why all these things i'm walking through but immediately i got to that that square there were there's a, a tra traffic show red light so the buses have to stop immediately i entered the traffic to cross then i saw the the, the prisoners. One of them called me, brother, help us, help us. Then, when I gave to the first person 100 naira, every other person inside the bus started asking, then I started giving each of them until when I was able to ride off the 100 naira note that I was having within me. This is not the first time he's doing such thing, but um, he's yeah, it has been part of them, part of him, sorry. Because when we do engage in conversation, he always expresses uh, 
concern over helping people who are less privileged or when he maybe becomes somebody in the future. So we got to VGC and we saw the I saw the van and I was like, oh, we saw them, they were all like this, begging people on the road to, so I saw a guy, I saw a guy who was working plantain chips, he was the first person who gave one of them from his plantain chips. Every one of us in the car, we were just, you know, Lagosians now, we were focused on where we were going to, nobody was concerned about people begging from the uh, correctional service truck or bus. So, uh, then I saw, why I was still watching that, and I told the boat guy that, oh, I wish I had cash on me. I would have loved to pay this guy off to sell all those, all he had on him to them. Because I was moved by his own act. Then I saw another person, just while I was thinking about that, I saw another person sharing money. Then he went, came back. All of them were now coming out. And see, another act I, I learned from was they were not greedy. The prisoners were not, all the inmates were not greedy. Like once they collect, they sit down. Once they collect, they sit down. So it's not, it's not, it's not something like take and then you want to take more, you want to take more. I can't just recall exactly how much I gave to them, but we used to buy change from one woman there. Then I bought 100 naira for 1,000 naira, including another 100 naira note that was, that was within me. But while sharing to them, I made sure I gave out all the 100 naira, including 30 naira that was within me. So I can't just give exactly that it was 800 naira or 1,000 naira. I can't just give them. So, when, at the first time when I saw them, even I myself, that was asking God, why am I passing through all these hectic and all these trials and suffering? Immediately I saw them, I, I got hold of myself. I realized that I'm even living a better life than them. I, I started imagining myself being like them. I said, no, at least I'm better than these guys. I can eat whenever I want to eat. I can eat any choice of food. I can go out and come back whenever I like. At least I have my freedom. I can go with the friends. So when I consider those things, I said, at least I'm better than these people, no matter how. That's, that's the only thing that inspired me. I filmed for, I think, nine seconds. I was so impressed that I didn't even continue filming, even after when I was taking his number. So I felt like the best, and the traffic has already moved. So I felt like the best thing to do there was to take his number, follow up on him, try to at least get him off the street. That was the moment I felt like, well, I really need to get this guy off the street. This guy does not, it's too good of a person to still be on the street. When, after that incident, um, and while traffic was moving, this guy asked me off my number. I didn't even think anything like this. So, since yesterday when I met with him, I, the, the nervous is too much and the shock. Since he was not picking up, then I viewed the video I shot. I said, oh, it would, be actually, it would actually be nice if I post this so people can see. Because usually I don't post anything aside photography on my page. Then I said, okay, let me put this up. And I put it up. Uh, people were like, what's your account number? People started calling me. My friends started calling me. Then I was like, oh, I don't, I don't have his details. So I just felt like, oh, let me, I just felt like, it was, it was a crazy stuff. Then I kept calling the number, calling, calling, switched off. Then it became switched. When I got to kill that Bella's place, it was the first person I showed the video. I said, I just saw something now, it's crazy. It was wild too, and man, I don't know, people started reposting, started reposting. Then a couple of my clients called and said, there's one person, she said, how can we find this boy? Let's look for this boy. We need to help this boy. A big thank you to every one of those people that gave me the ginger to do more. On behalf of um, Inside Niger TV, we want to give you this token to say thank you. 
for reminding us what um, true humanity is and your generosity. All right, so Mr. Jeremiah, thank you very much. Yeah, God bless you, Grant. God bless you much, brother. Amen. Thank you very much. Good. One of us. always give though we don't have much but the little we have let's always share there's love and sharing thank you thank you to everyone thank you to those who gave me the ginger and to the brother that i the young man that i woke up around <laughs> i think it was 7 a.m because over the night i got a series of calls series of messages we need to look for this guy do you have this guy's number what's his account details